lovelies you're welcome to today's episode and today i'll be sharing with you the trending 3d butterfly braids that has stolen the spotlight in the hair community this braid has an intricate details and a stunning dimensionality it is actually a fuse of creativity and elegance without wasting much of our time let's get straight into the tutorial Get your measuring tape and measure 52 inches of your wool. After measuring, go ahead and pick out 5 strands like so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then bend your wool into 2 equal halves, split it into 2 and 3 and then cross them together. After crossing, go ahead and start your 3 strand braids. You can either decide to make your braid small, medium or large depending on the size of 3D butterfly braids that you're going for. When you get to the end of your braids, go ahead and secure using an overhand knot. Cut with a scissors. Here we have 19 inches. Get your needle and thread and start hacking to join two braids together. You can either join two braids of similar color or you can use different colors of braids like you can see me do in this tutorial. You want to continue tacking until you exhaust the entire braids, leaving out only an inch without tacking. This will serve as the antenna. First, you want to make a loop. Note that the size of your loop will determine the size of your butterfly. Then, take your thread and needle and start tacking in order to secure your loop. After securing the first loop, you want to make another loop similar in size as your first. Then, tack that as well. After tacking, you should have something similar to the infinity symbol. Basically, you want to continue making loops that are similar in size and tacking them using your thread and needle. When tacking, ensure that you hide the thread so that your butterfly comes out looking very neat and presentable. Go ahead and make the last loop. These loops are the butterfly wings. After tacking the last loop and securing it in place neatly, use the remaining brace to form a ring in between the loops, then tack. You want to repeat this process twice. Make a ring and tap. Proceed to attaching both antennas to the side loops in order to secure them in place. I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for the love that you have shown me. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to join the Nature's Beauty community. Also, like, share and comment. Once you're done securing the antenna, go ahead and cut off excessive thread and our 3D butterfly is ready. Get your braided hair, make a loop depending on the size of the butterfly you're going for. Add your glue to secure the loop. Then, add pressure to it to further secure it tightly in place. You should have something like this. Then. Proceed to adding another glue closely to the first loop in order to secure the second loop in place, like so. It should look like the infinity sign. Make the third loop using the same process. Always ensure that you have uniform loops. In general, you should have four loops, that is two infinity symbols. So that's the first stage for the second method. Get your second braid and glue it to the back of your first braid as you can see us do in the video. After doing that, basically you want to start using the second to trace the first and gluing it in place like so. Here, she's trying to show us the result of the first loop. Your results should look something like this, as you can see in the video. Then, proceed to the second loop and trace. Do not forget to trace using the infinity sign, so that you can get the best result. 
Repeat the same process to the third loop and secure using your glue. <laughs> At this point, she was trying to figure out if she was still on track. After we confirmed it, we added our glue and secured this to the fourth loop. And because we had SS antenna, we had to use the scissors to cut it off to be equal with the first, like so. And then we threaded it using another wool. You want to repeat the threading to the second antenna and cut with a scissors. Let me know which of the methods you prefer, the first or the second. Now that you have your 3D butterfly, get your glue. You can use any of these glues. Add it to your butterfly and stick it onto your braid. After sticking it to your braids, flip it to the back, get your needle and thread and start tacking it onto your braids. The reason why we are using both the gluing and the threading method is because your glue can actually fade anytime and your butterfly will fall off. So threading it will actually help your butterfly to last longer on the braids. Thank you so much for joining today's episode. I'll see you in my next. Bye.